Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is going to be part four of our Let's Play uh, Tropical 5. My name is Bombhead. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Uh, looks like now we will be starting up the second uh, era or mission in the campaign. Um, so yeah, the mission, special relationship. Export raw resources while dealing in, with unexpected taxes. Uh, we're going to keep it low, low, rare, and this time it looks like we're playing on some Bow Bow. So let's do this. At last, some recognition! I've always wanted to be part of a secret fraternity bent on world domination. Hey. They even got me appointed governor of a new island just to show what they can do. Mm -hmm. Now it is time for the hazing rituals, I guess. My new brethren want me to befriend the U.S. president. The Order wants to spread its influence throughout the Americas, and I have been chosen to do it. Making friends with the Yankees is uh, not my forte, but I'm sure I will master the skill in no time. Cigars. It's just going to take cigars. Okay. Welcome to your new island, my apprentice. The Order needs you to earn the U.S. President's friendship. Your friend, Penultimo, could probably help. He knows how to get under a person's skin in no time. The U.S. President stated that no economy can prosper without independence. Make Tropico an economy powerhouse. Prove him wrong, and he will surely visit. Then you will have plenty of opportunities to use your charisma on him. Alright, 5,000 from exports. President will visit Tropico. Oh. That doesn't sound like a big deal. Okay. So, let us begin. His Majesty has come up with a most ingenious plan to defeat our enemies. We will send them food and then conquer them once they have become fat and lazy. Your first task is to begin food production. His Majesty thinks you should start with a ranch, cattle. Carry out His Majesty's wishes, and you will be rewarded with an extension to your mandate, as well as other benefits. We have another mandate? What is this? I thought we were out of that. Alright, well, we're gonna build a cattle ranch. I thought we were out from the crown, but I guess life's one big mandate. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown Representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. I can start off with the silver package. That includes the trading license and a free trade ship. However, I'm a man of s for a man such as yourself, I have to recommend the platinum package. That includes all features of the silver package as well as not one, not two, but three special trade offers to start you off. Well, we didn't really do trade offers last time. I think we're going to stick to the silver for now. What do we got growing here? We got some corn like last time. We've got our country houses. We've got our shacks. Construction Teamster. Okay. So what even grows around here? I guess we'll start with our cattle ranch. Cattle. You will do well right about here. Curvy road, I want straight road. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Let's build ourselves a nice little ranchy poo. And right. Right in the green. Okay. Probably gonna have to explore this round. Would be my best guess. Uh, can I start? Not you. I don't... 
research the sickle. We'll just work our way through them, like we did in the last map. Take it from there. I bet you we do some mining too. Look at that. It looks like a good mining vein. I do declare. Construct faster. So yeah, it'll be interesting what this will be all about. I mean, I th I was under the impression we were no longer under the ground, but perhaps I'm mistaken, and this is just kind of. All part of the grand plan. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. More money, fewer problems. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Govan. These appear to be the exact same quests as the first mission. Am I just doing the same one on a different... on the next map? I very well may be. But this one wants me to be friends with the American president, so... My initial thought tells me no. Or I guess my next thought. Oh well, we'll just keep on keeping on. Libraries can really go about anywhere. Too many people in shacks. Let's build a couple of houses. Let's speed things back up. Yeah. Am I fat? Be honest. <laughs> oh, Amanda, you sly lady. Alright, we're on speedy speed here. Get some things built. Let's see what kind of missions this, this level will bring us. Oh, hello, boat. Chug, chug. Do I have anything to export? Hopefully some corn. Yep. Got some meat, milk. All right. I like the looks of this. I like the looks of this indeed. That's about half of what we need. Perfect. All right. This this island is much more desolate than the other one. Hm. Okay. We have our library. Stage one of His Majesty's plan has been initiated. All colonies must start exporting food to our enemies. Okay, it won't be long now until the shipments have begun. Once the Majesty has been fattened enough, we will take over the world in the name of His Majesty. Okay, I can export meat. No problemo. We still have a couple more shacks. We're just going to build those out. As long as we see a shack, that means somebody needs a new home. Let's build out our roads a little. Shacks do not need homes, but or these country homes do not need roads, but it's still kind of nice city building and all that jazz. I think we're just going to keep this on speedy, speedy speed. So we can get more of these exports rolling. Go, my crane, go! Great news! While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle! Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see. The glorious future. Perfect. All right, cowboys, you're next. Governor, Tropico's economic performance is most astounding. It almost looks like you did that specifically to challenge me. Uh oh, Ruddy, Rudy, Ruddy, 
I'm going to call you ready. President coming in a month. This is going to be a short level. I found level. this book in your office, Governor. It's written by Conrad Marx, and it has some interesting ideas on how we should build our society. Okay. Where will you grow, sugar? Oops. in many places. But we can stick you right here. To help him find the best food in the Empire, the King has organized a royal cook-off. We must show him that Tropican cuisine is the best cuisine. Those brown-nosed royalists think we should let the king's chef win, while others think we should use the cook-off to advertise our produce. However, we both know that the revolution demands we win this competition. Who will we send to represent? Send a dynasty member, plus 10% food export prices. Send Penultimo, six-month mandate extension, we're good there. And send your personal chef, increases revolutionary support. You know what? Export prices. Get out of here, Amanda. The fastest way to bond with someone is to drink with him. The way to the heart is through the stomach, and that is why I will never come to your office without a bottle. The U.S. president is a renowned gambler. Win some wagers against him, drink together insanely on the occasion, and voila. He will be our best friend forever, after the headache that is. So we need to win three wagers, and we will earn the friendship. Have the fastest way to ah, bond with... Ah. Um, I want to destroy these two homes. And build them elsewhere. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Need that cash money? Getting started seems to be the, uh, the quickest way to lose all your okay, money. Okay, you got my attention. Yet I bet there is no way you can export agricultural products on a large scale with all the taxation and regulation from that crown of yours. Hell, I'd even throw in some rewards from my side. I'll get you some decent U.S. export deals or a fancy research technology. Make 10,000 in profits from agriculture, uh, win a wager, and get a reward from the U.S. Oh, okay, so we'll just do three of Ruddy's uh, little missions here. Okay. That's something we can keep on speed mode. Your family's rather rollicking love life has led to an unexpected pregnancy. Yes, yes, yes. So we get another one. Um... Here we go. Royalists. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. So these all look like pretty late game-ish types of uh, benefits. I mean, this will actually be beneficial in all of the maps. Increase research points by 1%. The tourism by 5 and the effectiveness of all buildings on a max budget by 1. We're going to do Tycoon. Another lady, eh? Alright, Manuela. gonna be a modern lady. That's cool. Wearing her yellow coat with light pink pants. Oh. And all bomb haber ladies of course have their giant fro. No hat. Nope. 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 I like how the hat just makes you bald. No, no, just go away. There we 
we go. And you're gonna be a fashionista lady. Here you go. Alright, good job, you. Why am I selecting? The little cost will decrease upon scenario completion. Oh! This would be where I could level them up. That is expensive. Ugh. That's a little reasonable. Okay. Um. Oh, do I use the Swiss account? Haha! <laughs> Clever girl. Okay. Well, that's good to know for the future. Um. Let's keep using, I guess, Gil. Please. Anger me, I dare you. Someone stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. They even stole the surrealistic chapter where fairies prance under a rainbow. The circumstances behind the theft are very queer. Okay, got the ranch, eh? Time for the mines. Sir, the Crown has decided to impose a real estate tax on Tropico. My friends at court hinted that Ila Rojo was behind the idea. I do not know how they will profit from it, but you will surely suffer. Alright, $50 per building annually. That could get pricey with all these homes. Hmm. Alright. Good, 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 good. It's only gonna take about three trips. Plenty of meat being exported. What is... is this... Okay, what is your upgrade? Uh, we need another new plantation around you. What do you need? Our research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel 40 times. Okay, we're going mining. Time for a fort. That's pretty... we're going to go ahead and do that. Effectiveness increases each month after this upgrade is built. Max of 100. That's pretty beneficial. And then this increases every other plantation's effectiveness. It's pretty close to this one, so we're going to go ahead and do that one as well. Ooh, 1,000 in real estate tax. But then they send me 5,600. Okay. like we don't have anybody in sh ah, there's a couple of shacks. You know what? We're going to live with them. Comrade Governor, the more I read the works of Comrade Marx, the more sure I am that our revolution must be a socialist revolution. All right, she wants us to get the form and technology, which I believe is next. Not you. You. Yeah, after the forts we get foreman. Anyone can try to grow something. Try making money out of large-scale cattle products. Now there's a tough, smelly challenge. What do you say? Let's not make this too hard. Anything can count. Cattle products, meat, etc. On my end, I can bet one opera house for or some red tape. Take it from me, you can never have enough red tape. Okay. We're already selling some cattle products, so that'll be our second of three wagers. Great news! We found out how to use the muskets the Crown sent us. Apparently, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Our research was seriously hindered until we discovered you should not look into the barrel when pulling the trigger. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men that way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Four men are next. Can we? Alright, so we'll be able to go a little further this time. 
with the old research show. Good. Formaner queued up. Looks like we got finish off the meat, maybe, this upcoming up time. Freedom will never simply be given to us. We must take it by force. We need to train our own soldiers. Soldiers that are ready to fight and die for our homeland. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Oh, that was pretty quick. Sorry. Um, we had the option to uh, get some smuggler runs, get some more revolutionaries, or get two free guard towers. So, I do like free buildings. Never said no to those. Now, we just need to find them. Stick them. Oh, but here we go. Number two. Stick you so we can have more docks along here, and the guard towers will be right behind them. 